Hey guys, and this video is about the things that I'm willing to spend money on even though those are unfrugal things that are not really needs but I do spend money on them even though I'm frugal but those are the exceptions big exceptions these are not luxuries by any means but they could be luxuries for some I guess Thing number one is healthy food items. Things like more fruits and vegetables and some supplements. So I try to eat and of course I have to buy more fruits and vegetables and things like, especially now in the summer we have uh, blueberries on sale. Whenever I find a good deals on blueberries, I buy them. And that includes frozen uh, fruits and vegetables vegetables so whenever I find them at the good deal on sale I get them and in the freezer they last long time and we like to make smoothies out of them in especially in the summertime right now so I guess in the summertime we eat more healthy and for the supplements my husband has to take some and I do take some sometimes when I don't forget but you would say once every three four days I should try to remember take them in the morning but usually I'm in a rush and by the time I remember that I didn't take it it's I'm on my way to work and in my car thing number two that I'm willing to splurge on is kids activities right now my two of my kids my girls they are in the camp and that does cost money even though it's like four days only it does cost money like $170 for each that's kind of a lot of money to me I mean I wouldn't spend that much on myself for just four days but for kids they're their kids just once in their life and I do spend money on them like that my kids also take art classes and piano lessons and even though most of it is covered by their homeschool um, Sometimes I do have to pay more and even before my kids were homeschooled I had to pay that out of the pocket and I'm okay to pay that even though it costs kind of a lot but like I said they're going to be only kids once and it's only a few short years um, and I think they'll remember about it for the rest of their life. The next thing I spend money on that's not a need at all is the hair color. I mean, I don't buy the most expensive hair color. I buy like the cheapest ones or the ones I have coupons for. Just like not expensive at all. You probably, I only color my hair like once a month or once every six weeks. So it probably cost me like three four dollars each time sometimes even less but because sometimes I only color the parts that are closer to my head but not like all of it and in the summertime my hair gets like uh, bleached from the Sun so yeah it gets weird color but at least it's not gray and um, I don't spend any money on makeup at all like nothing um, nothing for my face I don't even I do spend money a little bit on like face masks that I bought like in a little container that one container was like $2.99 and it lasts me I mean I'm still using it but it's like probably gonna last me like 20 times or more so that was a good deal and uh, yeah I don't really like or want to spend more money on like things like clothes and stuff because let's be real buying or wearing more expensive or even newer clothes to work or places like that I mean when I if I come to work in a new shirt versus the one that's like five years old I don't get to make more money by doing that so why bother you know if you think I would be making more money on YouTube by wearing better clothes or pick putting makeup on please let me know because I don't think that would be the case or I would not make much more than it would cost me and the next item or I should say items just anything that would save me more money or bring me more money than it actually cost the examples could be um, 
the freezer because for the amount amount uh, of money it costs and the electricity it takes it saves me a lot more because I can uh, stock up on stuff um, when it's on sale so I don't have to pay more later when I need it and it's not on sale also um, things like tools for uh, like our yard like trimmers for the grass and stuff like that um, it costs money to buy them, but it's way cheaper than hiring somebody to do all the work. Um, also, UV light for the pool that um, cleans the water. It, it, I mean, it lights up um, to like light the water when it filters it um, twice a day. So it saves us so much money on the chemicals, even though it was it was about 500 some dollars uh, to buy but in one year it saved us way more money than it cost to buy it and hopefully it lasts a few more years so it saves us like hundreds and hundreds of dollars probably thousands also things like help with um, making nice food without having to buy it like blender making all these smoothies like like a smoothie in a bottle would cost you arm and a leg. Like a smoothie in a blender from uh, frozen fruits and vegetables or any fruits and vegetables that are bought on sale, um, it costs way less. Also dehydrator, whenever I have um, produce from my garden that's, or I buy something that's on good sale, I can freeze it, but sometimes freezer has no more space. Um, but I can dehydrate it, so this is a good thing too. Also, we have a swimming pool, and some people might think that's a luxury to have a pool. Um, it kind of it is, but it saves us the money because we don't have to go any place that has pool, especially with the kids, or even we don't. I don't even want to, and my kids don't even want to to go on any kinds of vacations because we have everything we need right in our backyard, and we can use it like anytime versus on vacation you're like stuck in some unfamiliar place that you're limited only to what's around you so it actually does save us money because we don't have to go on any vacation because we have it at home so please let me know in the comments below what are the things that you're splurging on and whether it's worth it or not so i really want to know and thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe bye see you next time